In, in all of American history, every impeachment delivered to the Senate by the House has received a trial. Chuck Schumer and his party seek to destroy another precedent for their own political gain by not having a trial. For more, let's bring in Iowa Senator Joni Ernst. Senator, it's good to see you. What will you do to ensure Majority Leader Chuck Schumer follows American precedent and actually holds a trial against Mr. Mayorkas? Yes, thank you so much, Chris. And uh, as you stated, those articles of impeachment on uh, Secretary Mayorkas were delivered to the United States Senate this afternoon. Those articles of impeachment were read by Congressman Green, uh, along with the other House managers at his side. Uh, we do intend to take those up. We will be sworn in at the United States Senate tomorrow afternoon, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we will do everything we can as Senate Republicans to ensure that a trial is held. However, what we anticipate, as you stated, is that uh, Democratic leader Chuck Schumer, he is going to make a motion to table or dismiss those articles, which would thwart any attempt to have a trial. So we will have numerous points of order that we will bring up. Um, but again, we anticipate that those points of order will be shot down in the United States Senate. And I will add as well that um, it is our constitutional duty in the United States Senate to hold a trial on Secretary Mayorkas. The articles of impeachment are concluded. They have been brought to the United States Senate. It is on us now to hold this trial. Now, Senator, if this does go down like you're forecasting and the Democrats prove once again how they wish to abandon our societal norms, how they wish to abandon the Constitution, mm -hmm. do you think uh, there have been a, a good deal of Republicans who talk about my good friend the Democrat this and my good friend the Democrat that? And as you know, many Republican senators have gone along and voted with Democrats on very controversial issues, including massive overspending. Do you think your Republican colleagues will finally understand the nature of the current Democrat party that you are facing and will change their tactics from one of absolute accommodation to maybe one that's more adversarial? Well, I think that most of the Republicans do understand how consequential this is. We have seven and a half million illegal migrants that have come into the country in the course of the past three and a half years. Our homeland is not safe now uh, due to Secretary Mayorkas willfully uh, not following the law, systematically refusing to follow the law when it comes to immigration and border enforcement. So I think that Republicans are together on this. We may even have a few Democrats that would also agree that we have to hold Secretary Mayorkas accountable. But to do that, we have to have a trial. Well, that would be noteworthy if Democrats actually believed in enforcing the Constitution. Senator, the House is expected to take up multiple foreign adventurism packages this, this week, some for Israel, for Ukraine, and for Taiwan. And as you know, many GOP senators have voted repeatedly to fund Joe Biden and the Democrats' lawless illegal immigration campaign. Senator, why does a majority of the Congress support defending other nations' borders but not our own. Well, and I think that is, that's really a trick question, Chris, because I would say that most senators want to defend our border, at least the Republicans want to defend our border and assist in our own national security efforts overseas. So we can walk and chew gum at the same time, but we have to recognize that we are a sovereign nation and we must enforce our borders. We can do this. President Joe Biden refuses to do this, which is exactly why we need a change in administration. So we had secure borders, one of the most secure borders in the past administration under President Trump. We have seen a total degradation of our southern border under President Joe Biden. We have to return to a nation of secure borders. That includes changing out 
who sits at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And we need to do that this fall.